living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked zeitgeist of life making grown men crawl On their knees begging please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battles About the time he cursed the fig tree. You know, pious Christians sometimes make me very angry. They don't even know Christianity. They don't know the man they're following. He was a revolutionary. He was a dangerous man. And by God, so am I. And so should you be. This country was founded by dangerous men. Amen. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. They don't want laws against sexual promiscuity. That's why they don't want families. That's why they don't want marriage. That's why they encourage homosexuality. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance and until you change that you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy and if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. What's up folks? Permanent Patriot here. Thank God I got done lifting weights. And I got some aggression out because I'm highly pissed right now. I'm just going to jump around some news here. So check this one here. This is on uh, All News Pipeline. And it says, Hollywood warning of something big in 2016 with alien invasion. FEMA camps and martial law in the movies and on TV. Is the Illuminati heaping more predictive programming upon the masses? Do you fucking think? Do they ever not? And folks, I'm going to say it again. The elites tell the truth through TV shows and movies, whom of which they own. I mean, folks, you if you don't already know, you're not going to fucking believe the Steven Spielberg shit that I'm working on. You just won't. I mean, I'm having trouble fucking buying it, but it's true. It's true. There's no other way around it, for, except for it to be true. But another story, another day. Scary Earth changes. Uh, kind of like what I saw over here at PatriotRising.com. Where it says... My mom just told me uh, from New York about a snowstorm. Nor'easter. So, where did I see this? Here it is. Global warming begins. Historic snowstorm set for northeast. Uh, yeah, and hey, by the way, you might want to put this on the calendar too. It's the fucking middle of January. Snowstorms happen on the East Coast. Armed civilians stop mass murder. Did you fucking hear about that?
armed T-Mobile employee defends entire store against armed robbers in Chicago. Folks, if gun control worked, Chicago would be the safest city in the fucking world. It's the most dangerous city in the world. Hello? Comprende? They only come out when it's fucking a racist. Not racist, but a racial shooting. Well, fucking the black gangs in Chicago are fucking slaughtering each other every day. How come they don't talk about that? A hundred people on average get shot on the fucking weekend in Chicago. We're talking about the president's fucking hometown here, folks. Has the president done anything about it? Has he said anything about it? Boy, I really, I'm, I, I gotta do something about my hometown here to protect them. No, he ain't said a fucking word about Chicago. Here's a real fucking good one. As if nobody knows, what's killing the middle class? Well, gee, I don't know. When you raise the price on shit, but don't raise the price on my pay, we got a fucking problem, don't we? I'm not a fucking math whiz, but even I can figure that one out. That's why, folks, you don't just fucking hand someone $15 an hour. And it's not just inflation. You fucking morons talking about this $15 an hour shit need to do some fucking research. You fucking idiots. Even a stumbling moron in math like me knows that. Here's a list of Bernie Sanders' 19.6 trillion in tax hikes. No, not the not the 19.6 trillion that we owe in debt. No, in tax hikes, so they can pay it back. Folks, let's get one thing clear. This is not our fault. We do not owe that debt, period. The fucking derivatives and the quantitative easing. I want in the fucking too big to fail. I want to know how we owe fucking any money. I want to know. Where's our fucking interest that's supposed to build up from them fucking dollars? Silver, gold, motherfucker. You can't turn in a fucking dollar for toilet paper. And that's about all it's worth. They keep taking money out of the economy like this. They lower your wages or they cut your hours. Meanwhile, everything they sell at the fucking store goes up. Before you know it, that's one less family out of the fucking middle class. Nothing after that. And speaking of nothing after that, take heed America because we are, let's face it folks, we're the last stand. The last stand. If they take our guns, this entire fucking planet is screwed. And God will wipe the fucking face clean. If people don't start repenting and praying like they fucking mean it. And being real with each other and telling the truth. I'm fucking sick of people seeing people argue with other truthers and shit. I don't give a fuck if you got a grudge with them or whatever. The fuck are you doing? And it's not like a handful of people either. It's like, it's like dozens of my fucking friends. What gives? One of them guys become Illuminati? Did someone else take charge? Are they fucking robbing you? Are they poisoning you? 
It's the same case I make all the time. Someone walking down the street, minding their own fucking business, not bothering anybody. And a group of some fucking schmucks is going to come up and start some shit because they want to feel tough better, look tough or whatever. Hey, man, push them around. Give me your money. Give me everything you got. The government does that every fucking day times 20 and you sit there like a fucking sheeple watching your football games like you could care less and you're gonna fuck with some poor guy walking down the street who's got nothing to do with nothing just because the guy's a fucking moron or shit hey folks here's a clue desperate times call for desperate measures like Gerald Salente says when people lose everything, they lose it. When they lose everything, they lose it. You fucking think? What the fuck would you do to provide for your family? I don't blame not one, not one fucking drug dealer do I blame for anything. Anything. They're just trying to make a fucking living. It's not their fault that somebody's got a fucking addiction. Unless you're someone like fucking Frank White and you're pushing heroin on your own fucking population. Wiping out damn near half the fucking city. I mean, folks, seriously. With the amount of people in this country... You can add all those fucking mass shootings up. They don't they don't amount to a hill of beans. What is it? Maybe a hundred people? Less than three hundred? Out of three hundred and twenty million people. And we're talking gun bans. Oh no we're not. No we're not. Obama don't want your guns. Uh just like you could keep your doctor. Right? Just like you could keep your insurance. Just like if you uh, you didn't build that, you know, somebody else helped you with that. Yeah, the people helped you with that because it's their fucking money that you got, moron. The people pay for everything. And the interest accrues on us. Shit, I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I don't get how people are not fucking tipping tables over and punching people in the mouth by now, like Jesus was doing. This is pathetic. For, for the fucking country that we are, for the standard we're supposed to hold up. And, and every fucking minute, we're letting the rest of the world down while our country goes to fucking shit. And it's just going to be that much harder to fucking turn it around because you schmucks out there watching your football games want to laugh and fucking pick fights with P. I mean, folks, this flat earth thing, I've got proof. I don't know if people have a different definition of proof, but there's over 70 fucking Bible verses talking about it. There's proof out the fucking ass for days. It's ridiculous how much proof there is. And some fucking moron's gonna come on my channel just calling me an idiot. Fine. But when it starts to get to little kid level with, you know, ha ha, you're a fucking moron. Dude, are you sick? Am I sick? I've got fucking NASA people and astronauts telling me it's fucking flat. What the fuck do you got? The response is, you're a fucking idiot. That's all people got? Well, I mean, what the fuck? Just to fuck around with people? And folks, do you know how long it takes to make a fucking YouTube channel? You know how long it takes to get a YouTube channel up? This one dude's been fucking... Like, he's created five or six accounts. Because I block him on every time he comes back and says something. And he goes, he creates another fucking account and comes back on my page to fucking call me an idiot. 
I mean, talk about someone who's got nothing better to do with their day. This is getting out of control, folks. We need to aim this fucking fight toward the right damn people here. Especially when they're in your own fucking state. If it's this bad now, I, I can't fucking imagine what it's going to be like when the shit hits the fan and the sheeple are still, are still the sheeple. Obama hasn't done one fucking, I'm not exaggerating, not one fucking good thing for this fucking country since he's gotten in office. And there's still schmucks out there following him, wondering why people are calling for his impeachment. You people should be fucking hung for sedition. You don't fucking play little kid games with me. You got a fucking problem with me. You tell me. Like a fucking human being. Coming up with these little fucking kid names. For profiles and fucking making... Jokes like a fucking five-year-old would make. I don't got time. You know, I usually, usually, I wouldn't even fucking put the comments on. But I'm big on that right. That's why my favorite fucking saying, I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. And so I let people say it, and that's what I fucking get for it and for showing evidence. Fuck you. Go somewhere else. Go sell crazy somewhere else, pal. I gotta get out of here. I, I, I'm fucking. I'm trying to smoke my fucking blunt here. I'll be back later if I fucking feel like it. Get over to Patriot Rising and AllNewsPipeline.com and get some real fucking news. God bless. Nah. Just fucking carry on.